Hi there, sign of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading second try for the second half of May 2023. We're going to do a Celtic cross and with the good tarot, I'll take them um, upright. Whoa. But we'll be clarifying with other decks of classic tarot, so the original tarot. Okay, so I open up here, Scorpio, to your spirit team, your angels, so we can get messages for your highest good. Let's go ahead and pull a Celtic cross. One, two. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Water. So the Queen of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Um, that's you do you. Most In most ways, it's like a you do you. So with Queen of Fire as the uh, main issue card. And the Hierophant at the heart of the matter. The Hierophant at the heart of the matter. The past energy here is the Fool. crowning energy here for you. Wow. Ace of air, ace of air, five of air is the challenge to the queen of one, by the way. I don't know if I said that. So if I didn't say that, then that's, then that's that future hermit, hermit. Hey, how do you feel? <laughs> like the tower? <laughs> you feel like the tower in the environment? Kind of the emperor. Mm, power. Power. Eight of water is what we're thinking about in our hopes or our fear spot. And we're going to get two here for the outcome. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes, yes. You have the Ten of Earth and the Ace of Fire as your um, outcome cards. Wow. I couldn't be honestly happier. I couldn't be any more pleased with this outcome. Wow. Wow. So this is where taking a leap of faith pretty much led you. Um, to your, t it leads you to your ten of earth. Who completion on that um, material realm, finances, safety, security. Um, the ace of fire is also it's paired with like a new beginning. So, wow. And like I said, on the bottom of the deck we have the queen of water. So I'm gonna put her over here to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and get some clarifying cards. So that can be about uh, being open to receive. The queen of water, focusing on maybe your health and things like that too. Yeah, let's use the original tarot. I haven't used the original tarot in a while. So a while. So the, the leap of faith is this full card. This was something unknown. Um, that basically came knocking at your door and said, come with me. I can't guarantee it a certain way, but, but I think that you might like it if you take a leap of faith on this. So trying to have a beginner's mind. Wow. Soul family. Soul family uh, connections, maybe family to family connections, um, good memories, relationships, just really even just relationships in general, like bonds, relationships. And this is like taking a leap of faith on um, a soulmate connection. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Fire. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, which feels like, like not good luck. It feels like not good luck. It feels like things aren't going in the right direction. I think that this is kind of a good sign for you. 
like just just when you think things are going in the not so good direction something ends up doing really good in business or picks up with your business or the the family finances there's something that really picks up and um so therefore it turns the luck around and and i'm surprised the three of wands didn't come out feels like it like didn't expect this kind of expected things to go like maybe we were even expecting the worst but this is positive change and transformation um queen of fire i thought i saw nine of fire the end of that queen looked like a nine when it was all covered up so maybe it is something about persistence too Queen of Fire um, risk getting burned because they want to be near the fire, basically. They want to take a chance. Um, and winning at all costs is maybe the challenge. Justice in the reverse. Things um, that aren't balanced, that still need to be balanced. This could be like a conflict regarding justice or something within the Justice Department or institutions, um, there could be conflict on uh, how truth is seen or how uh, balance is restored and there could be arguing or conflict regarding that, regarding maybe an injustice. But I'll tell you, if this is you, this Queen of Wands energy, Queen of Fire, um, Aries kind of energy and they've got Libra with the justice. It's a very attractive Confident that was the tower <laughs> Confident energy. So I think that's saying yes, that's how you're feeling because that's who so this is major um, Change that's being witnessed and it, and I think it does have to do with um, finances commitment to the family completely reinventing oneself after walking away from look something that is now extinguished something that is over it was painful lots of betrayal oh my goodness but the candle's out and that means you get to um light another one and say an intention here scorpio so that's the one bonus with being the sign that gets the candle that went out, um, you get to light another one and set your own intention here. So that is something that has to go out completely, extinguished completely, and then it could be relit or just rebuilt again, right? <clears throat> okay, so this Hierophant, energy here it's at the heart of the matter so it's like you're very committed um you're committed it's um high level type commitment this is possibly a soul contract <clears throat> it could be a soul contract that's over um or that is playing out like into the next one Taurus energy here and heart of the matter. Tell us more about this. Sometimes a marriage, like an actual marriage. Legal paperwork, drawing up legal paperwork, making sure to read everything really well. Tradition, what you value, what you put on the altar, what you worship, what is it that you worship, and... Um, Asking yourself that. I don't know why I, I got spiritual there for a minute. <laughs> like religious spiritual. But something like that is coming across as like. here Now here's the Hierophant. It's great spiritual knowledge. So what are you putting on your altar? What is it that you're putting on your altar? What is it that you're showing life you worship? <clears throat> and then here we have. I mean if this might be part of the answer. Is that it's um. Holding integrity, honesty, um, perseverance, like never stopping, steady, slow and steady wins the race, slowly but surely. <laughs> it is a dependable, practical um, commitment card. So that those 
earthy signs are all coming out in your reading, really. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. As how you're feeling. You may be feeling extremely grounded right now. Kind of in the material realm. Really focused on these things that it feels like are evolving and changing. The Tower card, well, in the good tarot, has to do with, you know, this huge, big change. Um, and it's just something completely different is created with this change. It's usually associated with building instead of... Um, you know, it necessarily being something not so good. So, okay, so, so what's the conflict about? Why are people, uh, well, why, either you're conflicted about how bold or brave or how high of a risk you want to take. That's it. I think that's it. Oh, okay. If it has to do with court, this might be uh, a challenge to get the right plea or or the right offer or what is proposed to you with the knight of cups um maybe somebody hasn't apologized and there's still fighting going on maybe that's the issue too um you could have had somebody that proposed to somebody here or you could feel like proposing or offering your cup to someone else to help someone else out i feel like if this is your heart look at all these offers i feel like there's just so many offers i almost don't even know which one to take this card here kind of to me well to me in my readings the queen of wands is somebody who's um normally not so focused on being attached in a relationship as they are their uh, profession, their spirituality, their, you know, just lots of things. Their, their performer card, the performer card. So there's like a lot of interest here in you, especially with that Hierophant too. And a lot of maybe proposals come in your way. <clears throat> so what is the tower transformation here with your card? Holy crap, it is the magician. <laughs> And the King of Wands. Holy. Now, I was going to say the only time the Queen of Fire is really focused on a, a partner is when the King of Wands is here. And there's the King of Wands. It is the root or the underlying issue. That is a divine counterpart coming in. This is taking a leap of faith on that and it's bringing it in. The Magician is... The change and the transformation that you had to get to in order for your vibration to match up with your counterpart's vibration. I honestly feel that way about that. Um, this is your manifestation, but it is also like a co-creation. Co you had to love yourself, take really good care of yourself, and be in this receiving mode to get to this place. So somebody really has the uh, winning information here with the Ace of Air. Somebody has the winning information. Soulmate energy, the lovers. Ooh, wow. Um, these energies are like, yep, you're at a crossroads. Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus. Um, Scorpio, you'll have a big decision to make and here's the good thing is that you're armed with all the information you need to make the correct sound judgment here i'll put that stone over her and i'll put that over <laughs> yeah so tell me about the emperor energy so that is the crossroads that is the decision whatever that has to do with it might be as to whether you're accepting somebody's offer or not here's the good news and here's the Empress in reverse. The Empress is having to take care of oneself more, giving self-care, and then proving that they are okay with taking care of themselves. Then they can take care of others. This Empress energy is a little bit self-absorbed, and I want to say that maybe in a good way. Like, it could be because there's just some issues about taking care of oneself, and so there's this structure to follow with the emperor and it's going to go into like action mode soon. 
this change or transformation that you've already been feeling is about to speed up with the Eight of Wands. That can also be Cupid's arrow. Maybe this Empress is you in transformation. But this Eight of Wands here is definitely good news and it means that something's going to start picking up speed. Um, okay, so what else do we have? What else do we have? Hermit? Tell me more about the Hermit. Uh, maybe you find your answers in solitude. Well, you don't find many answers here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry. It's just, why are we getting Ace of Swords in the reverse? Hmm. Because the energy of what needs, so what needs to be revealed, not all has been revealed. You have enough information here to make a decision to get you to step B for the next gate, we should say. And then you have to get more information. I feel it's like a succession of, of your journey. You find out what it is that you really want, what it is, um, and it will reflect what you're done with and what it is that you really want. After reflecting, you'll know uh, what you're hoping for, which would be the Eight of Water, which is to go towards your Ninth Cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, so what you get in the end is beautiful, or what you get in this outcome. Um, last half of May, Ten of Earth and the Ace of Fire. So a completion, wealth prosperity it's security oh it's a victory six of six of wands i mean the magician card was good as it was because it's about you manifesting slowly but surely and really getting the offers but this is like victory you've hit jackpot you've hit the wealth the status the recognition the reward all of it all of it's there tell me about the ace of fire Tell me about Ace of Fire, new passionate opportunity. What are, what, fighting for this commitment or someone wanting to fight for this commitment? Because there is that Ace of Fire bringing in something new that wants to also fight for this commitment. Because you bring with you long-term good stability good connections good wealth and a victory like i say and a victory this ace of fire could be something new passionate and exciting it also brings with it a little bit of conflict but it is what it is so so it's the give and the take wow everything's going to be pretty darn transparent you're going to be able to see and have wise discernment for yourself. Let's get some advice now from your angels, your spirit guides. Okay. So, spirit, I want to know about the thing that's ending. Um, and and how we can get more information or you can help us with the information we need in the future. Oh, they won't need to help you that much because there is something that's going to be very transparent and easy to a person who's going to be easy to read. There will be a person that has this good offer that comes in with truth, genuinity. Um, I think that's a word. Genuine, gen, whatever. Um, <laughs> honesty. Um, movement in the right direction. I mean, this could be a good offer too, but this this right here is like this person might have something to offer you that has to do with the information. So you can also have Aquarius now into the mix. Give us something else about that. Mm, it was a it was a third party situation which doesn't 
necessarily have to mean cheating. It can mean just that more people, like, like these different offers, you know, these could all be different people. Aries, Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Taurus. Maybe Aquarius. So something's about to move forward. And that for some reason, every now and then, I get these like kidney things where it's, it might be a message to where the filling the area and my message is usually to pass along to drink more water or be careful about um, your kidneys and stress or something like that. Then of course that's not gonna be for everyone, but there's like a healing that comes in after you get more information on um, either something in the lower right back, yeah, or side or right side. Oh. This is a really nasty energy. The Magician in Reverse with the Three of Swords makes me feel like somebody on purpose wants to see um, you trip up or wants to, yeah, wants to make you trip up somehow. Maybe because of jealousy, this might be envy or jealousy. It's got some kind of nasty emotion. Um, this person's like not doing much. They're, um, they're not motivated, but they're not, they're just focused on whatever this sadness is. Not motivated, focused on the sadness. Hmm. Okay, tell me about the Empress in Reverse. the chariot cancer energy the sun energy so what is going to be illuminated will also let you speed towards this really wonderful beautiful outcome and um safety having um security safety I just heard like a big, like a buzzing sound in the ear, like a buzzing or ringing sound. Somebody might be um, possibly moving somewhere, taking all their stuff with them, taking all your baggage with you. Um, really, it's time that you looked at these heavy emotions that this card carries as you carrying too much on your own. And um, it's time to heal that situation and have completion with you not carrying so much baggage. And the baggage is the feelings, the emotions. the lovers in reverse this was heartache was the result of somebody's really bad decision poor decision somebody's marrying and not in a good way it's i mean because we're always marrying basically but you notice it more in in certain stronger ties soulmate connections and this is tied to a person that you really got disappointed of them making whatever decision it was that led to the three of swords. Now, look, because we have mirroring, mirroring, the magician, mirroring. Now we have ten of pentacles and we have ten of pentacles. They're mirroring too. Oh my goodness, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you need to take a look, a reflection, because of all of this mirroring. We are going to pull some oracle for you so I can find out more about this, these people or this new 
something we must we must be open to getting some messages with different decks and it will probably help us so let me put a short pause okay there's scorpio i chose the moon oracle for you all i think that would probably help us the most just give us some in-depth information about your reading so for scorpios second half of may give us more information regarding their reading demeter demeter so she associated with like the harvest or something. I'm gonna look in the book. This is the um, deck, the Moon Oracle. It should be listed below too. Um, let me just sum up what there says. So give me just a second um, to look at it. I, I thought it had something to do with the crop or the harvest. Hmm. Bird in the hand. arms raised to the heavens um, hmm. it says this goddess symbolizes the loss of something that one holds dear or is important to you eventually what has been lost will be returned but it might be in the not, not the way that you expected to receive it um, eternal mother compromise it says september maybe a significant month for you all um maturity and perseverance perseverance or perseverance maturity and perseverance never giving up for what you're looking for hmm. Okay, I have eight, black moon, water, eight, dormant, isolation. Hmm. Specifically for Scorpio, um, it may be a very highly secretive time. Um, and you may want to spend time like by yourself or with yourself. Um, withdrawing from all emotions. Withdrawing from all emotions. So that's, that's interesting. Okay. Give us some more about, um, first of all, what's this isolation about? What is this spending time by yourself? Eight, isolation, detaching from your emotions. Ooh, because of some kind of soulmate and separation or soulmate connections apart, haven't met yet, or possibly ones that need healing. Um, the nine of pentacles in the reverse could be that something is, uh, it could be about money, that something is going to take, um, more, I don't know, more effort to see more change or, and it, there we go. Putting love first, putting love first and whatever big decision this is with the lover's card is coming up again. Oh, Okay. So you're, it feels like a lucky windfall or financial windfall is going to kind of come hand in hand when after you've like, or while you've processed some deep emotions. And this is suggesting in the reverse that you're not wanting to sit with these heavy emotions anymore and focus here on decisions that make everybody happy. Ten of cups. So it's like your completion, your completion, um, fulfillment. All right, Demeter, Perseverance. Tell us about Demeter. Goodness. More truth, more clarity of what role everyone be, needs to be playing for the whole goal to be met. 
justice, truth, clarity, things coming, things coming to balance, truth and clarity, the wheel of fortune, something fortunate about to turn. Why is the um, ace of swords in the reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse. They figure if somebody was standing in their truth, they would be standing up for or focusing on advocating for a solution instead of possibly making the same judgment call. So this is like, okay, next time I need to make a different decision with the six of swords in the reverse so you'll make a return and you have a choice or an option something ends up working out when you put your head into your work your craft your skill your ability to accumulate uh the work does better making better decisions leads to better work outcomes and there's it's, it's all about perspective about to the point that you've gotten here um things are about to shift I think it will be, um, well, a time to be decisive and draw boundaries, protective over family too. Um, finding your focus and setting your priorities. With the Queen of Swords, she's uh, living in her truth. And these are both Libra energies too. And then there you have the star. Beautiful. So the star energy, um, beautiful. It's... Um, renewed hope it's maybe something um that has to do with your 10 of cups your fulfillment emotional fulfillment it's about receiving that it's about being in the spotlight for something really good there may be some challenging energies or some people who are not exactly your friends here um, but you move past that too. focus on doing you and what's uh, focus on shining bright like you know the star that you are and I think that's pretty much what I've got for you guys temperance on the bottom the impossible will be made possible let's do some tea leaves and um, I'm gonna wrap this up pig beware of greed when this especially when this money comes in put love first Celebration, fun, tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment, archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up, scissors, disappointment, and some affair, and kite, a vacation, kite, a vacation. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. And camel, persevere, and you will overcome all problems. It's about persevering even when the results are not what you're wanting them at the moment. It's about not having that winning information, but still knowing that you're the winner. And persevering through that. There's eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Yeah, because you have the good tower, solid foundation, success with effort. So what I've got for you, Scorpios, sending you love and light. If you want a private reading, you can reach me. Uh, my email address is in the description box below. And until next time, sending you love and light. Bye-bye.